Overkill's The Walking Dead is an earnest attempt to deliver a cooperative adventure set in the iconic zombie apocalypse universe, but that effort feels a bit like it's all too little too late. While the creators of Payday 2 managed to deliver something better than the last Walking Dead shooter, it still fails to live up to the lofty expectations set by its lore. The Walking Dead TV show and the comic series it's based on tell stories of desperation and fighting for survival both against and with other humans after the end of the world. Overkill's The Walking Dead, on the other hand, is a game about mindless slaughter with very few plot threads connecting the dots. There is no drama, there are no personalities developed, and there is no nuance. This cooperative shooter puts you in control of six new characters in the mythos with unique skills and specialties. Alongside up to three other players, you run missions, collect supplies, and rescue survivors, but there's no relatable motivation behind it. The entire plot is basically just you fighting against a gang of other humans called the family for no reason other than that they're trying to survive too. On the technical side, it is absolutely baffling that there is no built-in voice chat for a new cooperative game like this in 2018. You can talk with friends through Steam or Discord, but there's no easy way to talk to people you randomly match with. Naturally, in-game text chat doesn't cut it in the heat of battle. This issue is compounded by the fact that there are no bots and most missions are too overwhelming to fly solo. Actually getting into matches can be a slog at times as well. Loading times are atrocious, the screen often times out, and when you do get in, there's occasional clipping with weird glitches. But when it works, there are things to like about Overkill's The Walking Dead. There's definitely a palpable sense of dread and tension that pervades all aspects of the adventure. Actual gameplay is a bit hit or miss. Most of the guns feel stiff and cheap, lacking the power you'd expect. Plus, you'll actually spend the majority of your time trying not to fire them because shooting too much attracts a horde. Melee is a huge focus for that reason, so it's a shame that it never evolves much beyond left click to swing and right click to shove. To its credit though, Overkill's The Walking Dead can fit an impressive number of zombies on screen at times. Each of the missions are replayable and can be accessed from the main menu's map. At first it's limiting, but expands over time. The driving force behind playing more is that you're always trying to keep your camp morale up. Every time you successfully run a mission, you gain supplies like provisions and scraps, and every few days your camp resets and uses up some of your resources to keep survivors happy. Plus, each character levels up and improves their unique skills as you find new gear and slowly grow in power. In addition to the supplies, you can also upgrade your camp to unlock passive bonuses, new areas of the map, or even to send your pool of survivors out on missions off screen to round out more resources. It's a simple base management system that helps break up the action, but it's so disorganized and poorly explained it felt like more of a nuisance than anything. As long as you've got a group of friends to play with, running missions, leveling up characters, getting new gear, and cutting through swaths of zombies is fun and overkills The Walking Dead. But it's all wrapped up in a package of multiple frustrations. Technical issues, unavoidable repetition, and a general lack of direction are a serious drag on an otherwise exciting, intense, zombie-filled cooperative adventure. Plus, fans of The Walking Dead will likely be put off by the lack of source material respect in its story. For more on Overkill's The Walking Dead, check out our two-hour launch day livestream, and for the AMC show, what we want to see from the newly announced Walking Dead movies. And for everything else, keep it right here at IGN. Come on, Ed. show me what you got. <laughs>